Good morning, my visionary dreamers. A Dion here. Another self accountability video. Day 26. Oh my gosh, I never thought I would make it this far. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Well, maybe you never thought you would make it this far. But today I want to talk about listening to the small voice. Listen to the small voice. Listen to the small voice in your head and your heart. Because that small voice is you. It's your real spirit. That is who you really are. You know? You ever notice that like you can just be thinking about things and you can hear somebody talking to you. You like having a whole conversation internally with yourself. You know, we might not want to go outside and just be talking back and forth to ourselves because some people might just think we're just a little cuckoo. But that little voice that's talking to you is really you. It's really your higher self. And that little voice is the voice that warns us, that pretty much, you know, gives us different messages and tell us what to do, who to who to call, or, you know, um, even as far as, you know, maybe you might be having interviews at jobs or, you know, picking a career. That little voice, if you listen, if you really listen, will guide you on the right path. But you know, so many times, I'm sure I'm not the only one, we hear that little voice and we go totally against the little voice because we might have another desire or we might, you know, want something else for ourselves at that time when that little voice is speaking to us. And then what happens? We go against the little voice and sometimes it winds up being a disaster. Sometimes it just winds up creating a problem or issue for ourselves. You know what I mean? And then on the other hand, we can have an issue or a problem that we need to be solved and we listen to that small voice and it, it's like little breadcrumbs that feeds us along the way and shows us what to do. But you really got to listen. You know what I'm saying? You really got to listen. Because if you keep ignoring that small voice, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And then you can find yourself praying to God, asking or praying to the higher ups, you know, the creator, whoever you call, you know, your source. You can find yourself praying and saying, why are you answering my prayers? Why, you know, why are you allowing me to go through this? And and yet, you your prayers, is, they already have been answered a long time ago. But if you would have sat still, sat still and listen, as it says in the word, be still, you know, be still. And I don't want to get all into it, but be still. And I think hear the voice or something like that. But that is the higher source telling you, okay? exactly what to do how to do it who to call and it might not come all at one time that is the challenge that is a part of faith that is a part of belief you know what i mean the true definition of those words is being still taking that first step okay i heard that okay it's turning out good all right um, what else what else am i supposed to do and you'll hear it again and you take the next step and so forth and so forth. Just like when I opened my eyes this morning, that small voice was like, put on your purple shirt. Purple represents the crown chakra, the third eye, as they say. You know what I'm saying? And that is the eye of seeing all things on a spiritual realm. Seeing and, and being connected with that sight that you see. And sometimes we see things, guys, but we don't want to face it. We don't want to deal with it. But we got to start listening more, seeing more. And then once we pay attention to our spiritual eyes and our spiritual voice, then, then you can start getting on the right path. Then you can start reinventing yourself. Then you can have the visions and the dreams that you want and you've been desiring all your life. If it's for your higher good. Notice if. It's for your higher good. Because a lot of times we can want things that don't really serve our higher purpose. Okay? So remember that, guys. So pay attention to the small voice. What is the small voice telling you today? Comment below. What has the small voice told you 
in the past, whether it was in your 20s, your teens or whatever, and you didn't listen and it would wind up being a disaster. And you went back and said, I should have listened. Comment below, share some stories. Let's, you know, share with the community because we're all in this together, guys, and we need to help one another to get to the next level in our self. Let's say it that way, in our self. I love, love, love you guys. Comment below, share, like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, if these short videos are helping you out. Until tomorrow, I love you. Peace.